Okay, we did the preliminary setup. Now we're going to go into the PA config menu and start setting our power out. I use a QRP ohmmeter, a QR meter it's called. May not be real accurate, but well, I can see we need to reverse that. So let's get out of there just for fun. Go into the config menu. Okay, band swap off. This is the one I wanted to change. Start step button. So when you hit the right button, it goes to the right or left, etc. We'll save that. <clears throat> Close that menu. Back to the PA config menu. So we'll put our power on 5 watts. Go to the 160 meters. Hit the button. Adjust our power out. Closest we can get it to 5 watts. like that's good now we'll go to 80 meters tough to get it close that's I guess a little higher is better than a little lower <laughs> Jumps right up there. Oh, look at that one. That's almost five minutes. Let's just save everything while we're halfway through just for fun. <clears throat> this baby will really put out on 30 meters. A little touchy there just for fun let's go put that on reduce power on the upper bands as well and uh, see what effect it has it gives you a more a little more adjustment range there Having fun calibrating. One click. Okay, let's save again. It's always good to save. Twelve meters. So when you get up to these upper bands, you got to uh, crank it a little further because it sometimes it takes more to get there if you can even get there. Okay, all the five watts are done. Now we're going to go to the full powers. <clears throat> Full power on 160 meters. Okay, we'll keep her there. 75, 80 meters. Hope you guys are having fun enjoying this boring video. <laughs> but, I thought it may be helpful. Don't forget, 
if you're hesitant to, to jump in there and build this radio, I just absolutely love soldering these radios together. And I offer that service. Okay, up to 30 meters. Also, if anybody has a Dentron MT3000A tuner, I got something. Oh, I'm on the wrong frequency here. There we go. If anybody has a Dentron MT3000A tuner, I offer replacement green buttons and switches for that rascal. That, uh, hard to find. But they do start messing up, wearing out, and popping off, hitting you in the face. So I have those available as well. As you see, this is an interesting procedure. You just keep going up through the band, cranking up your drive levels to get your outputs. One at a time. Now, here we go 15. Oh, this is a good one. Some of these are just crapshoots, getting them to 10 watts on the upper bands, I can tell you that. Some make it, some don't. Let's see how this one does. This is a pretty good one here. Look at that, 10 watts. So we know 28 is going to be above that number, so we'll go ahead and crank it up there first. Look at that. Jumping Jehoshaphat. Oh, not going to quite make it. So I like to crank that back down until it comes down. And then go back up. So let's just stop at 9.5 and, and be happy forever. Okay, let's save it. Wonderful. <clears throat> so the next step is to, uh, if your power meter is working, you might have to go in. Another thing we got to look at sometimes in the config menu, you need to reverse the uh, SWR meter. Okay, now it's reading. Back down into the uh, PA meter. Now we're going to adjust the uh, coupling, it's called. It's actually calibrating your watt meter to your outputs. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go back there to the power adjust. Somehow we got that out of I must have bumped that. We better resave before we get too far away. Because I've had them kick off and you got to start all over by a cracky. <clears throat> okay, save that. <clears throat> That's our first step of calibration.